Hi everybody, this is Tracy with the Rhapsody Art Barn and I got my new product, the Retique It, and I am going to do the top coat. So it's a two coat process. I chose to do the light wood on the bottom and then I'm gonna put a dark wood on the top, a second coat, and then that dark wood I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to use their little tool that they provided and I'm going to make a wood-like grain in the dark wood. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't used this product before. I do have these um, with the handle that I sell for the Dixie Bell products and I can show you with the Dixie Bell products, the wood grain on those, this is a, um, a blue, Yankee blue base and a white cotton on top. And then I used the wood graining tool that I had already. This one came in this kit. And you just kind of slide it up and down. Slide it up and down. So I do know how to use these. So we'll see if it's just as easy for everyone to use them on the liquid wood on the beast that I did. So I'm going to turn you down and show you the project, the product. I'm using a brush that Retique supplied and it is a nylon bristle brush. They, brush. they said not to use the um, natural bristle brushes, which is you know, what I like to use anyway when I'm painting, they're real soft and easy to get a smooth finish. But I will show you as I turn you down, I did not get that smooth of a finish. I guess it's smooth. You'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna turn you down. It's got where the product was. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it in the dark here. I think I might have to turn the whole thing. Hold on. Make sure you can see. Where the product laid down with the first stroke of the brush, it's really, really heavy. And then it kind of, as you see, got a little bit lighter as it got less product on it. So I don't mind if you've watched me at all, I love variation in color, I love texture. So this didn't bother me at all, so I didn't try to make it smooth. Plus I knew it was the first coat and I was putting dark over it. Um, this is a little jar. I have a bigger one of the, the lighter color and they actually clip them to ship them. So they were really well shipped. And then I'm going to pop this off and stir it real well before I try this. So excuse me while I grab those things. They also said that if there's anything on the wood like we did in the last video to prep it first, get rid of all the gouges and look at that, that's the darker one. And they also said that if it wasn't smooth after you painted it, which this is smooth, it just looks variated in color, that we could then go back with a light sanding pad. Um, I have this real light one and you can just, Stand right down to smooth. Uh, I don't really need to do much here. It doesn't seem very... I think it actually just, there's a bristle in it from, there we go, got that out, from when I painted the first time. So you just wanna make sure your piece is free of debris and maybe smooth it out if you want it smooth. And then, I probably shouldn't be putting all my stuff right on the table. I'm not a very good teacher, right? But then you just mix it up with the little spatula stick that they give you. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna put this on the top. So using the same brush, gonna get a little bit on. Oh, it's gonna be harder because this is smaller than the last one. And I'm gonna try to maintain the same brush stroke all the way down. See now? It's 
So usually when I'm using the wood graining tool, I do it one area at a time because I don't want to have the product dry when I use it. So I'm not really sure because I haven't tried this product how that's going to work. So maybe I'll do like one row because I've got to go the same wood grain all the way down the end. You don't really want to pick up your tool until you're to the end of the project. So I think I'm going to make it nice and wide because their tool is nice and wide. And the good thing about uh, painting and then trying to do a design on it is we can also go over it more than one time. So if I decide I don't like the pattern it's giving me for whatever reason, I'm just gonna go all the way to the end there. Then I can put on some more product and make it wet again and try it again. So that's the good news about using these tools. Now see, I'm gonna take it all the way down. And I didn't get as much up there. Not sure how wide this tool is, so I'm gonna to try to get it. But again, you can see through those variations from the light stain that I put in the first time. And I like that look. It kind of looks more like wood to me when it's not all one solid color. Now the contemporary, you can do different looks. You can do all dark. This is not stained, you guys. We're gonna be staining this whatever color we want. This is just creating the wood look right now. And then you can go back in, take it all the way down and stain it whatever color. Now see, you cannot stop, I've noticed. You have to take it from one end all the way down to the other. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna take this little tool and I'm gonna start anywhere. You can start any position, but you're going to start at the very end and make sure it's over the edge and you're gonna start dragging it and turning it at the same time and dragging it and turning it at the same time, dragging and turning. And I've got a nice big long surface. So I'm using, oops, I'm using nice big long strokes. Now it kind of, I drug it and turned it too fast. So I'm gonna start over and do it a little more gradual. This tool is sensitive and it's nice and slick and it actually stopped in places. Let's see if I can fix any grain, huh? So I'm just playing around with it a little bit, trying to see what I can do because um, this is a new product to me. You can see it gives that nice wood look. It almost looks like wood grain. And then we are going to stain this. They've given me a black walnut to use and I can use also any of my Voodoo paint gels from Dixie Belle. Um, so I'm gonna take some of the product right back off of this tool that I had and I'm going to just go over this one more time because I've been playing with it at the end there and I wanna get one solid swoop. So I'll show you that you can go back over it. Again, it's getting kind of thick. I can tell it dries pretty fast. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to play with it that much because I have to get the rest of it done and, mark, and match up the patterns. So. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm going to start at the top, make sure my pattern is going over the edge and lightly pull. Yeah, see, it already did that drug. I think this stuff is getting thicker already. So you guys are gonna have to watch me play with it and know exactly what to do when you do it. Yeah, it's starting to drag a little. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna try it this way and see what happens. There we go. Nice. Okay, 
I see a lot of drag marks, so, um, so this is why I do this. This is why I practice and have you watch. Um, now you're not going to do what I just did. You're not gonna go over it 300 times. So I'm gonna add some more product, make it stiffer again. And then I think my tool has got too much stuff on it. So I am going to use a baby wipe or any kind of wipe that you have. And I'm going to wipe off my tool. I'm actually just gonna spray it because that's what I have handy. Good thing about this stuff is it also is water-based like the Dixie Bell. It's not, um, not uh, toxic. So I'm gonna spray it with water and I'm just cleaning it right off. I just wanna give it enough of a slicker surface so it doesn't rub on this rubbery silicone, whatever it's made out of. Might just be rubber. Okay, I'm gonna start this way so you can see. And I'm gonna go all the way to the edge, start at the top and drag and drag. That works better. Drag and drag. It's still kind of pulling. Hmm. And drag. Okay, well, you can even make like planks. You can start right here in another place so that you look like you have a different, different plank. And there is the wood graining tool. That is what it's supposed to look like. So it looks like wood on the top and you will not be able to tell until it dries. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and continue with this. Then I'll have it all dry. Then I'll show you what it looks like. See you soon. Thanks for checking me out today.